What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, my name is Erica and as you can see I have my skiff behind me. This is the boat that I bring out um, in a lot of my videos. So I've gotten a lot of requests to do a video walkthrough so that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. So again this is a 2021 South Dade skiff, a 16 foot as a technical polling skiff. Um, so I'm going to show you more of what that means in just a second. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're going to start in the back first. I have a 20 horsepower Suzuki here. It is a tiller attached to my Suzuki is the on the fly jack plate. This is a hand cranked jack plate. So whenever I'm needing to lower or raise the motor, um, I can go ahead and just crank this down. And as you can see, this whole jack plate is moving. So obviously it makes it super handy when you're in shallow water, you're able to trim up. So I definitely use that a lot when I'm going fishing. Um, in the back here, we have a polling platform. I'll jump up on there myself uh, and use this pole here to pull myself in the flats. If I don't want to pull myself, I also will decide to use my trolling motor. Here I do have a, I didn't bring that out with me. <laughs> I have a lanyard um, that has a little remote. If it's a little too windy or I don't feel like pulling myself, uh, I'll go ahead and throw that in the water and uh, move around that way. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, show you guys where the battery is um, and how that's rigged up front. Way up front here, I have my battery. There's a switch up there also, so I can turn that on and off. The plug does come out right here, so I'm able to plug that in at night um, so I can go ahead and charge up for the next day. While I'm in here, um, I have my Tough Deck uh, decking throughout Saltworks and Tough Deck. I did a great job getting all that custom made for me, so good job, you guys. Every boat can be customized. They have a ton of different colors and options, um, but I wanted these couple specific details I should have showed you guys while I was in there, but we do have four uh, rod holders. Um, one of those rod holders I'm using for my uh, Sticket power pull pen, so I'm able to use that as an anchor pen while I'm on the flats um, instead of actually having like a physical anchor. I was using a kayak anchor at one point, um, but this is definitely way easier. <laughs> uh, just to show you, I threw a rod in there, show you how that sets up. Again, there's two additional rod holders on this size so you can bring a bunch of setups out with you um, so you have options and then of course moving up to the front we have our front casting platform um i move back and forth definitely very nice to have the additional height in the back we got my gas tank um that obviously hooks up to the motor in the back there all right so we're actually gonna go ahead and jump back in and show you guys um, a couple different places where you can actually sit to drive All right, so of course you can just sit back here on the back of the boat. Um, always make sure you wear your kill switch. Very, very important. Um, it is technically the law, so follow the law. But you can steer down from here. Um, this whole thing rotates. Um, that's my throttle. Uh, on the back here, I have neutral, forward, neutral, reverse. Doesn't want to play with me right now because it's off. Um, but another option is if you don't want to sit down here, which is also my favorite, um, you can actually jump up on this top casting platform and like I just mentioned please make sure you wear your kill switch I got boots on so it's a little different when I'm barefoot <laughs> but for demonstration purposes uh, you'll see that I wear that around my ankle um, and I'm able to drive from up here um, it is so fun, I will tell you, <laughs> to drive them up here is definitely my favorite. Um, usually I'm averaging about 20 to 28 miles an hour based off of the wind, uh, conditions, and the weight, uh, depending on if I have like another person in the boat um, or a loaded down cooler. Um, so that's pretty much a skiff. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up like I am fishing and that'll wrap it up. All right, and the last couple things I always bring with me, of course, are life jackets. Um, if it's just one, obviously I only bring one if I'm by myself. And then of course the throwable. So both of these life jackets and the thoroughbore. I choose to put way up in the front of the boat. We do have that space in front of this battery, but I usually shove those way, way far up there. Uh, in addition, in this spot, I have my dry storage, um, my orange dry box that has all of my registration papers in there, all that fun stuff, um, a rope. I have two lights um, that can stick onto the platforms here if I'm taking it out early in the morning or late at night. And I do carry a fire extinguisher with me. Technically, I believe if I know the rules correctly, technically I don't need a fire extinguisher since I don't have closed hatches in this boat, but it, it's better to have one. So I can always carry that with me as well. This whole box I keep in the very front. This whole area usually stays dry 
So it's just a good spot to throw that. Um, it's kind of nice to have a little extra weight up front too. A couple other additionals, I have my hand bilge, just in case I take on a little water, um, since I don't have a physical uh, built-in bilge on the battery. I have a hand one just in case. Safety first. <laughs> I carry a net with me that does break down very nicely. Um, you can use whatever net you want, but I have a little fold up one. And if, depending on if I have a person or not with me, I'll bring a chair for them to sit on, or sometimes I'll just throw this cooler uh, up in the boat too for the little extra weight. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw all this stuff in there and show you one last final look. Got the cooler in there, everything up front that I mentioned. In the back, I have my bilge, net, chair all around that gas tank in the back it's sorry if that stuff gets wet all right and last thing that i'll throw in my car i have my wash down bucket um, i have my hose everything to hook up to the motor to flush it as well as my salty captain detergent and motor wash um it comes in handy uh when i'm getting salt all over the boat and blood and i'm able to get it all cleaned off and wiped down. So um, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Hopefully you guys uh, liked my walkthrough. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the boat, feel free to drop down some comments. Um, also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you stay tuned for more fishing videos. But again, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, and one last thing you guys, there's gonna be some really exciting stuff happening with this boat uh, in the next couple months. So you guys are not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure to find me on Instagram at Erica underscore Lynn period two, where I'll be announcing some really cool stuff, uh, like I said, happening with this specific boat. So y'all aren't gonna wanna miss it. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Kuda, have you been watching Mommy a little time? Yeah, good boy.